In this short video, we're going to explore the simplest way to factor a polynomial, and that's looking for a common factor. So really, what is factoring? Factoring is undoing the distributive property. You could even say that you're putting the parentheses back in. The distributive property means remove the parentheses. Factoring means put them back in. So, for example, if I use the distributive property multiplying 3x squared y times the binomial 2xy squared minus 5, I'll get 6x cubed y cubed minus 15x squared y. Factoring would say, let's go the opposite direction. Let's start with 6xy cubed minus 15x squared y and rewrite that as the product of 3x squared y times the binomial 2xy squared minus 5. So how would we get the 3x squared y? Well, what we do for the 3 is we're going to look at the coefficients, the 6 and the negative 15. And think of the largest number that will divide evenly into both of those, and that's 3. Then for the variables, we look at the exponents. We have an x uh, cubed in the first term and x squared in the second term. And so the uh, lowest exponent is x squared. So that would be the common factor. And then there's a y cubed and a y. So the y by itself is, has an exponent of 1, so we'll just take the y as our common factor goes outside the parentheses. Then to figure out what goes inside the parentheses, we're doing a little mental division, right? We're saying, what do I have to multiply times 3x squared y to get 6x cubed y cubed? Well, 2 times 3 will give me 6. x times x squared is x cubed. y squared times y is y cubed. So the first term inside the parentheses has to be 2xy squared. And then uh, I look at the second term. I'm going to multiply 3x squared y times something to get negative 15x squared y. So the x squared y is already there. 3 times what gives me negative 15? 3 times negative 5. So let's look at another example. Here I have three terms, 15x cubed minus 10x squared plus 30x. And so I'm going to have something on the outside, and then I'll have three terms on the inside of the parentheses. Now for the number, what did I do? I looked at the coefficients, 15, negative 10, and 30. What is the largest number that divides evenly into all three? That's 5. Now what about the x's? Well, I've got x, x squared, and x cubed. x has the lowest exponent, so that's going to go on the outside. Now what goes on the inside? Well, again, I say 5x times what will give me 15x cubed. And that's how I get the 3x squared. And then 5x times what will give me negative 10x. That will be negative 2x. And then 5x times what will give me 30x? That will be 5x times positive 6. And so one thing is that we can always check these uh, results from factoring by using the distributive property. So let's go ahead and distribute 5x across each term in the parentheses. And so 5x times 3x squared is 15x cubed. 5x times negative 2x is negative 10x squared. And 5x times positive 6 is positive 30x. And sure enough, that checks with what we started out with. All right, let's try to factor the binomial 6x squared minus 35. Well, the largest number that divides into both 6 and negative 35 is 1. That's it. And so uh, 1 times 
uh, anything is just going to be itself, so I'm just going to take 1 times 6x squared minus 35. And we call this type of polynomial prime uh, because it really doesn't have a common factor besides 1 or negative 1. So in some cases, we actually want to factor out a negative term. And uh, so let's just practice doing that. We don't really have a motivation right now except for practice. So let's practice. So the same example, 15x cubed minus 10x squared plus 30x. Instead of factoring out a 5, I'm going to factor out a negative 5. So again, I'm still looking at the largest number that divides 15, 10, and 30. But now I'm going to make it negative. That doesn't do anything in terms of the variables. It's still going to have x. But now what's inside the parentheses is going to change signs. So I have to think of negative 5x times what will give me positive 15x cubed. Well, I'll need a negative because negative times negative makes positive. So negative 3x squared. Then negative 5x times what gives me negative 10x squared. Now I'll need a positive, positive 2x. And then finally, negative 5x times what gives me positive 30x? Well, a negative times a negative, so it'll be a negative 6. All right, let's look at our prime. If I factor out 6x, if I factor out a negative 1 from 6x squared minus 35, then inside the parentheses, I just change the sign of every term. So it'll be a negative 6x squared and a positive 35. Like I said, we're just doing this for practice. But in the future, we'll see that, that this is useful. Uh, and one example we'll see when we do factoring by grouping. So in summary, factoring undoes the distributive property. And you may have a prime polynomial where you can only factor out one or negative one.